While I'm stuck here in New York, suffering through 30 mile an hour winds and freezing temperatures, a good chunk of my coworkers are off enjoying some sunny skies in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress. And as if being jealous of the weather wasn't enough, I also have to watch as they get to play with the latest toys and foldable phones. One of the biggest announcements at MWC is most certainly HoloLens 2. We already knew it was coming, but now it is official. Before you get too excited, it is aimed squarely at the enterprise market. Microsoft's first batch of partners includes Airbus, Saab, and Trimble, the makers of 3D modeling software SketchUp. There are some big improvements here, though. The field of view has more than doubled, which should address one of the major complaints about the original HoloLens. And new time-of-flight sensors allow real-time tracking of your hands without the need for controllers. One thing that hasn't gotten better, the price. At $3,500, it is out of reach for even the most enthusiastic early adopters. Of course, this is Mobile World Congress, so you know we're getting phones. LG took the opportunity to get weird with the G8 ThinQ. The so-called Z camera up front allows you to launch apps, answer calls, and change the volume simply by waving your hand in front of it. And it can even unlock your phone by reading the veins in your palm, which is a little creepy. But we all know what you really want to hear about. Foldable phones! Huawei announced its Mate X foldable, and well, it may have just knocked the wind out of Samsung's sails. When closed, the Mate X has a 6.6 inch main display and a 6.38 inch one on the rear. But open the device up, and they combine to become one 8 inch panel with a 2480 by 2000 resolution. That's larger than the Galaxy Fold's 7.3 inch screen. Oh, and the Huawei has a bigger battery and manages to be significantly thinner at just 11 millimeters when closed compared to 17 millimeters for the Galaxy Fold. And there's no insane gap around the hinge either. The Mate X houses its cameras and other sensors in a bar on the back that doubles as a sort of handle when the phone is unfolded. And it avoids either a notch or a hole punch by simply using the rear cameras as your selfie camera. There's a display on the back after all to use as a viewfinder. Oppo also has a folding phone in the works, but it backed out of announcing it at MWC at the last minute. But spoiler alert, it looks a lot like Huawei's. We'll see you tomorrow with more Engadget Today.